Hey, Algebra 2 friends. Today we are factoring x to the fourth. Now the good thing about x to the fourth is that they work just like x squared for what we're doing in class. So these are going to work just like x squared. So on the left side I'm going to do the factoring of x squared and then on the right show you how it works for x to the fourth. So on the left here we have x squared minus 2x minus 15. This is one of those multiply add problems. So we're looking to multiply to be negative 15 and add to be negative 2. So we know we split this into two sets of parentheses. We have x and x. We're thinking, okay, what multiplies to be 15? That would be 3 and 5. We need to work with our signs so that we have a negative 15 and a negative 2. That would be negative 5, positive 3. So that's how we factor it when it looks like x squared minus 2x minus 15 x to the fourth is going to work the same way. We have an x to the fourth here minus 2x squared minus 15. So when you see an x to the fourth that looks like this, it's an x to the fourth here and an x squared is the middle term. So we are still looking at what multiplies to be negative 15 and what adds to be negative 2. Except this time when we split it up, it's going to be x squared and x squared because x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. And we're going to end up with the same things of positive 3 and negative 5. Now to just quickly show you how this works, I'm going to go ahead and foil this back out so you can see that it's the same thing. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. Our outer term is minus 5x squared. The inner term is plus 3x squared, and the last term is minus 15. So here in the middle, those two terms give you your negative 2x squared. So this is x to the fourth minus 2x squared minus 15, which is what we were looking for. So that's just a little check to see that we did it right. But this answer in red here, this is your answer. Okay, moving on, x squared minus 16. Hopefully this is very easy to see that this is dots because 16 is a perfect square. And a difference of two squares factors very easily into x minus 4, x plus 4. We're going to have that same concept over here, x to the 4. x to the 4th minus 16 is going to factor just like what we did on the left, except instead of x and x, it's going to be x squared and x squared and still it's going to be the minus 4 plus 4. However now we are not finished. This is not completely factored. Why? Because we have right here another case of dots. We have another difference of two squares so we're going to go ahead and factor that x squared minus 4, we all know, factors into x plus 2, x minus 2. Oh, can't write in yellow, can't see it. Here we go, x minus 2, x plus 2, that's x squared minus 4, and then we still have our x squared plus 4, which does not factor any further. So here is our answer now. So anytime you factor, always x to the fourth, and you have x squared here, always look to see if it is dot, see if it is a difference of two squares. This is not because it's not a difference, and three is not a perfect square. This is not because five is not a perfect square, but this one here is. Okay, let's go on to factoring where we have a leading coefficient that is bigger than one. So hopefully you recall that we did these using a lot of trial and error. So we split this into 3x and x. Our last terms had to be 8. So we could have 1 and 8 or 2 and 4. And so we would just keep trying things. If we tried 1 and 8, we'd check our outer and our inner terms or check our smiley faces. We'd have 24x and 1x. Well, there's no way that's going to give us 14. So we're going to try again, and this time I'm going to flip-flop, and I'm going to put 8 and 1. And again, I'm going to check my smiley faces, and I'm going to have an 8x in the middle and a 3x on the outside, which is not 14x. 
so obviously that one is not going to work for us. So now I'm going to try 2 and 4. Check my smiley faces here. I get 12x and 2x, which together is 14x if they are both positive, which is the answer, and we are finished. Same concept, again, is going to apply to x to the fourth, except this time our 3x to the fourth term is going to come from 3x squared. And over here we're going to have x squared, but we're still looking for the same thing. We need 8, so we need 1 and 8, or 2 and 4. And since, of course, we already know what the answer is, I'm just going to go ahead and put 2 and 4 so we can see our smiley faces give us 12x squared and 2x squared for a grand total of 14x squared. And of course, they're both going to be positive. Okay, so hopefully you can see here that factoring x to the fourths are no different than factoring x squared, except if you have a little case of dots once you get to the end. Occasionally that will happen, and you will have to continue on from that point. So, Hopefully x to the fourths are pretty good for you. We've got some video examples here. So if you would go ahead and pause now and factor those out, we'll go over them in class tomorrow. Thanks.